Hello and welcome to the demonstration and settings tutorial for the positive and negative calculator from roulettecalculators.com. So first of all, you want to head over to roulettecalculators.com and go to the positive negative calculator. Now we're just going to talk a little bit about the settings here. So we've got the, um, the first one that's selected here, the Chase and Fool's Chase Martingale system. So that's using the positive and negative chase on this. And it's also using the Martingale system, which primarily focuses on the evens, which is the um, 1 to 18, even, red, black, odd, and 19 to 36. They are all the evens. And the structure of betting on that means you have to double your bet on every go when you're using the even sections. It also implements the um, positive and negative chase which we've got built into this, which focuses on the first, second, third, and also the bottom, middle, and top columns. Uh, so I'll just give you a quick example of what I mean by that. Uh, if we just start entering data in like this, you'll see that this is a positive chase, the orange one, which is the one that we recommend because after looking at thousands of different roulette tables, we've noticed that the positive chase is a lot more uh, well it doesn't it doesn't go as wild as a negative chase which I'll be talking about but um, some people still like to do the negative chase as well so basically what this means is the depth of the positive chase is at six now and it's telling you that to bet one pound or one dollar or whatever you want you can change the um, starting bet here so you can put it at like 0.25 or you can put it at three whatever you choose and um, the betting is going to change on here. We're also tracking the negative, uh, which I will show you if I just uh, enter in a few more data and I'm going to ignore this third section down here. That basically means when that section of the table hasn't come in for a certain period of time, it will highlight blue. And the blue means a negative chase. That negative basically means that that section has not appeared. The positive is the opposite. So it's following where the ball has just landed. So in this case, the ball just landed on number 16, which is in the second 12. Now if I enter in five, the positive chase will move to that section there. So you, the positive is following where the ball's just landed and the negative is focusing on an area that the ball hasn't landed. Now the odds and the evens, uh, high risk, but with these you always have to double your bet. So if you're putting a bet on say the 19 to 36, that basically means this whole section here hasn't come out in, uh, where's the, in seven spins. So it'd be telling you to bet two. But if that misses again, the bet will then go to four pounds. If that misses, it'll go to eight pounds. So it's very expensive. Have the, um, the top row, middle row and bottom row, and the first 12, second 12, and third 12 is, um, it pays uh, three to one. So that the betting system is slightly lower. So typically it will go one pound, two pound, three pound, four pound, six pound, nine pound, and so on. And that's how the, this system works. So um, that's the positive and the negative on this particular system. I'm just gonna refresh the calculator again to get rid of all of the data. And we're gonna talk about the recommended chase. Now the recommended chase is similar to the previous one. However, it completely ignores all of the evens. Okay, one to 18, even red, black, odd, and uh, 19 to 36. I call them evens because it's a 50-50. Um, whatever one these are is a 50-50 chance of winning, minus the, uh, I believe it's 2.7% that the zero makes up. So the recommended chase, that completely ignores these ones, which is the Martingale uh, criteria on that. So uh, we, we always recommend to use the recommended chase, um, which is essentially the same. So again, if I just uh, start pumping in the data, just like I did before, you'll see it's just gonna focus on the um, positive chase, the negative chase, and it's only gonna be focusing on first, second, and third, bottom, middle, and top, it will completely ignore these sections. So that's a recommended chase. We're gonna look at the medium. This is basically a modified chase, which is exactly the same as the um, recommended chase. The only difference being the money that you bet jumps up slightly faster than the recommended chase. This just make, basically makes it a bit more profitable, uh, profitable, but it's only worth doing it if you've got a table that's been very, very good and the, um, the depth of the chasers 
doesn't run wild. I'll talk a bit more about the depths in a second. So as you can see, that's on that two pound. Normally that would jump to three pound on the next bet. Uh, so here you can see it's gone up to four. Then normally uh, it would, the next spin would be four and then it would be six. So if we just click again, instead of it going to six, it, that, well, it does go to six in this case, sorry. And then from six, normally it would go to uh, nine and then I believe 12, but in this case it's 14. So it just jumps up slightly more. So you're always gonna make a little bit more using this one. However, it's uh, it means you can bet less amount of time during the depths. Now I'm talking about the depths. Uh, maybe you understand what I mean, but maybe you don't. So if we look at say the, um, the negative, that basically means an area that hasn't come in. So I'm just gonna enter a, a few numbers in, okay. Uh, so the negative, let's, let's use this one for the negative because currently that's on zero now. Uh, the first 12 is on zero because that's just come in last. Now if we completely ignore that area, you'll see that section will be now on a depth of one because it hasn't come in. If we click there again, that will be on a depth of two. Now this one will be as well because I haven't clicked on the third 12, so you can have a look down here and you can see the third 12 is already on a depth of four. However, if the ball spins onto one of them numbers, that will then drop down to zero. Now the first 12 is still at a depth of three, that means that the first 12 hasn't come in in three spins. So if I completely uh, miss that, you'll see that on this spin here, it should highlight. The reason it's highlighted is if we go down to the settings here, you can see start betting at a depth of six. So that basically means if that section has missed six times, it will tell you to bet on it. This is quite nice because you can adjust it and also, if you look at the um, calculator settings here at the top, it will show you the uh, maximum that de the depth has gone to during all of the spins. So we recommend logging the, the data on the table for uh, quite some time, maybe 100 spins, and then have a look at the data here. So this is the deepest negative dozens. So that basically means the dozens here that hasn't come in. It's also got the uh, deepest negative 50-50s, which is these sections here. Now you'll see that that will, will usually go pretty high. Uh, well, actually it'll probably stay low, but if it does go high, you're in big trouble. Um, the deepest positive dozens we always find is lower than the deepest negative dozens. Uh, same with the columns as well, which is why we always recommend uh, betting on the, the positive when it flashes up orange and maybe going down to the settings here and changing the the, um, the depth of the negative bet to something quite high, maybe 16. But you can always uh, analyze a table and have a look. Okay, so that's basically how the depth works. Uh, we're gonna talk about the high risk fools chase martingale system, okay? That's the last setting there. And that is basically, it uses everything on the board and every single bet will double each time. So it's the same as uh, the martingale system primarily used. Normally you double up, say on, um, you bet on red and if black came in you would double your bet on red and if black came in you'd double your bet again on red and eventually red has to come out but it gets very expensive when you're doubling the money uh, and this actual system does that but on all of them okay so if we uh, start pump punching in the data here you'll see that this one's uh, illuminated which is a bet of one pound or one dollar if we miss it that's going to go to two if we miss it again normally it go to three but instead it's going to double up to four, and if it misses again, it's gonna double up to eight, uh, and so on and so on. And you can see, I'll just go for a few, you can see how expensive it gets, 16, then obviously it's 32, then 64, then 128. Um, so you can see then, and if you keep missing, you're gonna very easily end up in the thousands, just on a few spins. So if we see, after 13 bets, you're at 4,096. And then of course it just doubles each time and you'll be in big trouble. So we don't really recommend using the uh, high risk chase. We recommend using the recommended chase. Uh, but if, you're, if your table's doing really well, you can go to the modified chase and that just basically makes you earn a little bit more when the, when the wing comes in. So that's exactly uh, how the positive and the negative system works. Uh, on top of that, obviously you can adjust all of the different depths here. So you can adjust the depths for the positive on the dozens, 
you can adjust it for the positive on the columns. And then we've just bunched the, um, the negatives in because uh, we, we've added them just because people do want them. But at the end of the day, we don't really recommend using the negatives, okay? Now, just under underneath, it's got the spin statistics. We've added that in. That's also known as the Garcia system, where you're looking for a bias on a table. So maybe um, one of the casino uh, have a roulette table and it's not quite level, or there's a bit, been a bit of wear and tear. And over thousands and thousands of spins, there is actually a, um, a, a number or two numbers that appear a lot more than before, okay? And we, we don't recommend going by the hot and cold numbers on uh, when you see the roulette tables because that's generally over the last sort of 200 spins or 300 spins. But with this one, you can just sit there and log the data and get 10, 15,000 spins and you can then look at the percentages of which number has come in more. And um, that's a really, good, um, a really good thing. If you can find a table that has got a, a, a wheel bias, then you can make insane money from that. So that's essentially it. Uh, that's the settings. Um, we'll do another video with showing you this in action and how exactly it works.